All right, you can probably tell from the title what I'm going to talk about. Moist. It's a word that seems hated by just about everyone. I say just about because, well, I love moist. You uncomfortable yet? In all seriousness, I am a creature of spite, so I get an evil chuckle whenever I hear someone cringe at the word. That is why it's my favorite word. But what I want to know is why. Why is voice hated so much? I mean, you talk about a sticky, moist, green moss, suddenly it's gross. But talk about a rich, velvety, moist cake, suddenly in your mouth waters. Why is it? So I will take you on a journey, a journey to find out why moist is so gross. Oh, wow. I didn't write on moist in the OED. It's almost as if I planned this whole thing. For a starting point, this is perfect because we have history and a variety of definitions. It is apparent this is a word borrowed from the French moisty, mosta, musta. Look, I took high school Spanish, college German. I'm not going to pretend I know French. I mean, it seems like England doesn't care much for the French Norman pronunciation anyway. Either way, it has Anglo Norman and Middle French roots. During this time, the generations after English and Normans intermingled, they were bilingual, and some of the Norman French vocabulary seeped into English. Not so much the pronunciation. Then again, French seems to be the language where you take effort to not pronounce anything. Look, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with French as a language, and people should learn foreign languages. I'm just saying, if France wanted Alsace Lorraine so badly, why is it still so German? Anything beyond that, they have a scholarly way of saying we don't know. It is possibly linked to Latin mucidius, which seems to be linked to mucus. So I guess there is a reason to dislike moist. As for some definitions, we have slightly wet and with moisture. I hate definitions that reference themselves. Just a pet peeve, but it always makes it useless to me. <clears throat> containing liquid in a state of suspension or absorption, not dry, damp, humid. So, not a big deal. We have the earliest at 13A2. Next definition, same earliest state, is of a plant, fruit, juicy, succulent. Then, of a shoe, I don't even know, of beer, I mean, I guess freshness but my bar brain doesn't understand that. Of an eye, that makes sense. Dry eyes are horrible. I like having moist eyes. Rainy, of the mucus, eye, vagina, I think I'm seeing a pattern. Wetness, wetness, medicine, specifically for mucus. Liquid, medical liquid, cardinal. Glad this word is standardized now. Tearful, trig, moist, another dumb definition. And from here, the words are just compounds, which do not help. So aside from general wetness, I'm noticing a pattern that pertains to the body. So with the history out of the way, we seem to have a lead on why this word is so hated. It seems people are disgusted with the body. I can't say I blame them. I mean, I'm using a video game and voiceover for this project because I'm getting over a cold. Looking at a few articles, let's sum them up. This one mostly just says, sad body fluids and society. This one says it reminds people of sex. The Washington Post is very similar. And the Huffington Post references this paper. Okay, let's see if I have access. Uh, 
oh, would you look at that? Thank you, college tuition. Glad we could afford an article about moist, but not the Oxford English Dictionary. Anyway, to sum up this psychology paper, it confirms previous points. It actually ran some experiments, putting certain words together, food and sex being fairly common. By experiment 5, they used a word that is most definitely gross. Apparently, there is a correlation of those who find moist gross and those who aren't dis as disgusted by things. At work, vice versa. Wait. What does that say about me? It seems people get uncomfortable with moist because it reminds people of sex. Big surprise there. I can't say I blame them. My sense of humor ranges from complete nonsense to immaturity. But even Shakespeare couldn't hold back the sex jokes. So this will never deter me from using the word moist. I'll say moist as much as I want. And no one can...